Hello, and welcome to another Adverity Platform Guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at calculated metrics in Adverity. But first, what are calculated metrics? In Adverity, you can use the metrics you collected from your data sources to calculate new metrics. For example, let's say you want to use the metrics cost and clicks to calculate the KPI cost per click. In Adverity, you can create calculated metrics in two places, the Data Dictionary and Data Explorer. It's important to note, however, that calculated metrics are created using the data you have loaded into the Adverity data storage. They can be viewed and used in the Data Explorer and Dashboard pages, but can't be transferred to external destinations. In this example, let's say we're looking at daily clicks and cost by campaign name in a data table. To achieve this, we add the dimensions daily and campaign name and add the metrics clicks and costs from the data mapping section on the left. As you can see, this has filled out our data table with all our costs and clicks data broken down by campaign name. You could create any calculation with the base metrics you've collected. In this example, let's say you want to calculate cost per click and the KPI and add it to our table. Now CPC is a common metric, so you can find this in the left-hand menu here. But let's say you wanted to create this for yourself. To do this, click the function button in the metric configuration. First, you have to give the metric a name. In this example, we'll call it CPC example for cost per click. In the select metrics field, select the metrics you want to use in the formula for the calculated metric. In this case, we want to calculate cost per click with the formula costs divided by clicks. So we select the metric costs and clicks from the drop-down menu. The metrics without the arithmetic operator are not a formula which is why we are getting a warning message below. Once we add the operator to the formula, in this case a forward slash, the message below tells us that the calculation is now valid. Next, we're asked to specify the format of the calculated metric. This is a number in this example, but it can also be a percentage, a duration, or a currency. You can also select how many fractional digits you want to display. Lastly, we need to select how the metric should be treated by default when looking at total measures for values in a data table. This is useful because it does not always make sense to sum up values as a total. In this example, we are looking at a ratio, so we'd want to look at the average cost per click across our campaigns, rather than sum up all cost per click. You could also choose to count the values. This makes sense if you're trying to figure out how often a row has been populated with the calculated metric. If you want to look at minimum or maximum values in a column, you can select min or max. If you don't want to include a total at all for this calculated metric, select none. In this example, we'll select Average and hit Create. As you can see, the CPC calculated metric has been added to the data table automatically. If we don't want to include it, we can remove it from the data table by clicking on the metric and then hitting Remove. To look at total measures in the data table, you can hit the total row icon above the data table. As you can see, this adds a row with totals to the data table. Because we have selected Average as a total default in the calculated metric settings, the total row for cost per click displays the average cost per click. And that's how to add calculated metrics to your data table in Data Explorer. You can now add the table to a dashboard by clicking Save to Dashboard on the top right, or create a visualization from it. Now let's take a look at how to manage calculated metrics centrally in the Data Dictionary. First, navigate to the Data Dictionary by clicking Data Dictionary in the Platform Navigation menu. The Data Dictionary is your central place to manage the target fields defined in data mapping and your calculated metrics. If you want to learn more about data mapping and the Data Dictionary, make sure to check out our other video guides or the Adverity documentation. For now, we'll head over to the Calculated Metrics Overview by clicking Calculated Metrics on the top left. Here you can see an overview of the calculated metrics created across all workspaces in your organisation, their format and their formula. By clicking the links in the usable column, we can check the workspaces they can be used in. This means the workspaces where data is fetched for all the metrics used in the formula. As you can see, the CPC example metric we created in Data Explorer is listed here as well. If you want to edit the metric, click the action menu to the right and select edit. If you would like to delete the metric, click the action menu to the right and select delete. Adverity also warns you if there are any dependencies that should keep you from deleting the metric. For example, if the metric is used in a visualization on your dashboard. 
You can also create a calculated metric directly in the data dictionary by clicking Create Calculated Metric in the top right. And there you go. That's how you can create, edit, and manage calculated metrics in Data Explorer and the Data Dictionary. Thanks for watching. For more detailed information about calculated metrics, be sure to check out the Adverity documentation.